Have you been arrested for DUI? The police officer thinks you're guilty. The judge probably thinks you're guilty. The prosecuting attorney absolutely thinks you're guilty. Why, even you might think you're guilty. So why not go into court and plead guilty? That's a horrible, horrible idea. Watch the rest of this video to find out why. Welcome, my name is David Jolly and today we're talking about what you should do immediately after your DUI arrest and release from custody. If you have been arrested for DUI, you're probably upset, depressed, and worried. These are normal emotions and it's okay to feel that way. But the one thing you should not do is bury your head in the sand. Remember, you have many options when you proceed in your court case. Your case may have good legal issues and defenses that an attorney can use to your advantage. It's important to remember that you are presumed innocent, that the burden to prove this case against you lies solely on the prosecuting attorney for the state or city. The prosecuting attorney must prove every single element of DUI to prove you're guilty. One thing you don't know at the beginning of the case, nor does your attorney, is, is the evidence flawed or in any way deficient? And will this deficiency or deficiencies help aid a good resolution in your case? The jurisdiction you're in may even offer reductions or good deals if you're a first-time offender and your BAC is low. If you go in and plead guilty, the judge can sentence you to whatever the judge wants. The moment you plead guilty without an agreement is the moment you give up complete control. And finally, it's really important that following the arrest, you investigate a good attorney, you interview an attorney, you get advice from an attorney, and you take steps to retain a good quality, knowledgeable, and experienced attorney. Here are the top five tips following your arrest for DUI. Number five, go home, take a breath, be calm, and then organize all of your paperwork that the police officer may have given you. Check your court date, the time, and location of your court appearance. Four, confirm if you have a time limit to try and save your driver's license. Every state has a period of time to request a hearing. In Washington State, the time limit is seven days after your date of arrest, but in other states, you may have less time than that. Three, call an attorney, and if you have any time before your court date, meet with that attorney to discuss your case. Research any attorney you may retain. Some may appear really good on a website, but not so much in reality. Number two, hire only a qualified attorney who is familiar with your court has many years of practice, and is specialized in DUI defense. And number one, appear in court on time, well-dressed, and be polite. Importantly, always plead not guilty. For more information on DUIs and DUI defense, please subscribe to this channel, check out our website, or read our blog.